Welcome Wolf and Wolfettes to Broken Age. Now before we start, I just want to say, sorry there was no video yesterday. I did plan to upload one, but because yesterday was like a complete flipping disaster, the video I ended up creating was only four minutes long, so I thought there's no point uploading that. There's, it's just way too short. But now, nah, we're going to be doing Broken Age for the next few weeks, probably about two weeks. I was recommended to play this by a Wolf Moon, Wolf King and a couple of other people that sort of messaged me on Facebook and Twitter and all the other places. <laughs> So uh, we're going to try it. This game is made by the people Double Fine that made um, Grim Fandango and also made... What was the other one? I've, I played another one. I don't think I played it on this channel. Oh, Psycho Norse. I think I played that on PS2. So I thought, yep, we'll give it a try. Now, this game is pretty similar to um, Grim Fandango. It's a point, point and click adventure. And the main character that we're going to be playing today is voiced by Frodo. You know, Elijah Wood. From Lord of the Rings, Frodo. <laughs> and I think it's also got Jack Black in it as well. Oh, this is, this is going to be a good game. I already get the feeling. Okay, let's start. Sorry if I uh, talk way too much before I get into the video. I'd just like to uh, keep you guys updated. Okay, um... We'll, we'll, do, we'll do save two. and shine, son. You better get up. I'm almost off duty. Mom's gonna be here soon and you know how she is. Oops. Here she comes. Have a great day, Shane. There's my little angel. Oh, computer. Snooze. No more snoozies for my little spaceman this morning. Oh, I hope no bad tinkle fairies came and wet your bed during the night. Oh, computer. Off. Come on and get up, Shay. Lots of important adventures to go on today. Get up now, Mr. Man, or I'll turn on the mean sound. Okay, you asked for it. Um, that's not actually that bad, to be honest. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. Oh, I had to do it. Oh, sorry, I didn't even flip it, no. Computer? Oh, quit being so shy. I used to change your diapers. Choco rockets? Um, I don't know. It, it depends, really. I mean, you're not really giving me much detail. I know they're going to be chocolate, but there is some chocolate cereal that I absolutely despise. No, I'm not in the mood for uh, Choco Rockets. Oh, no, no. Yikes, no way. No way. Cinnamon. <laughs> Who the hell wants to eat cinnamon? Have you not seen the cinnamon challenge? I think I'd rather eat a bug. Yeah, me too. Oh. Oh, but nah. Nah, I don't think actually. Nah, we don't want that. No thanks, computer. You lumps? Holy shit. Well... That looks a little bit evil like me, so I think we should go with that. <laughs> Actually, that does sound kind of good. Actually, that does sound kind of good. You see that flipping... Good morning, Commander Shea. It oh. is my honor to be your training spoon today. <laughs> Can't wait to start Mission Nutrition. Oh no. Yes! You won't be sorry, Commander. Once more into the Stay on alert. Range. I think there might be food around. Always, sir. It's happening. It's really happening. Now, sir, I don't just serve food. I also serve up nutrition facts and eating encouragement. For instance, that last spoonful was exactly 7.1 calories. Did you? Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh Commander, aren't you excited to see what the big deal is? Up on the bridge? 
No? Well then, want to know the viscosity of this morning's synthetic milk? <laughs> that spoon is a son of a bitch. What's the big emergency? I wish you'd call me mom, sweetie. I wish you called me Captain Computer. Okay, Captain Sweetie. Let's get down to business. We are currently tracking multiple developing crises that need urgent attention. First of all, a massive avalanche has been reported on the planet Galarctica. Second, there's a runaway train in System 7 that's headed for Spike Canyon. We've also received a Mayday signal from the vessel Friendship Circle. They're under attack. And, uh-oh, this just came in. My sensors are reporting an entity of unknown origin has attached itself to the hull of this very ship. What are your orders, sweet, uh, Captain? Well, um, after I've been sitting around listening to you for about 10 minutes and that on, and I haven't actually had a single chance to talk yet, I think we're going to uh, suit up and investigate that foreign body, just so I can get a bit of air. Better suit up and investigate that foreign body. Ooh, I don't like you going out there. Let's use the safety suit. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, I'm outside the ship. The foreign body must be very close by. Okay, <laughs> now that I have two seconds to talk, I don't actually know much about this game. Like I said, I was recommended to play this by you guys. But from what I've read, the uh, there's two characters with two different stories. And I think at the end their stories like intertwine. I'm not sure though. But what's happening right now is old Frodo over here, Elijah Wood... He is being kept on a ship that has been looking after him since he was a baby. But the problem is, is this bloody ship doesn't understand that Frodo is probably, what, about 16 years old now? So it's still treating him like a flipping toddler. Yeah. So that's sort of what's going on right now. Okay, um, let's have a little bit of a walk around. Look at, look at fat. Is that like, is that suit full of air? It's like he's wearing one of those sumo suits you can buy from the novelty shop. <laughs> Oh, look how he's walking. Actually, I want to I want to show you something quickly. I'm going to tell him to go back in the ship, and he talks just like how Manny does from Grim Fandango. <laughs> go on, go and do it, Frodo. No, I can't abort this mission until I've seen it through, no matter how stupid it is. No, I can't abort this mission <laughs> until I've seen it through, no matter how stupid it is. You know, Frodo, I'm in control. You should do exactly what I flipping tell you to do. But never mind, Frodo. Never mind. We'll do what you want to do. Well, that looks tasty, doesn't it? Looks like something you'd put in a stew. I'm actually cooking stew downstairs right now. I thought I would sh share that with you. And the house smells of stew. Gotta tell you, stew stinks. I hate the smell of stew. <laughs> I found the object. It appears to be something organic in nature. Something's telling me I should stick my face right into it. Ah! Get off of me! Get off! Oh, I thought I was a face hugger. From aliens. <laughs> That's lucky. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I don't want grilled cheese. That's disgusting. Ready for your next exciting space mission, honey? We've got an avalanche, a runaway train, a spaceship under attack, and a mysterious object on the hull. Well, I've already seen the mysterious object on a hole, so I think we are gonna... We have to defend the Friendship Circle. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. We have to defend the Friendship Circle. Oh, I just don't know who would attack those poor defenseless cuties. To the teleporter room. <laughs> oh, that's a bit creepy. Look at that. I'm aboard the distressed vessel Friendship Circle. I found one of the crew. Yeah, I gotta say, if I if I was a baby, I wouldn't think any of these things right here are cute and fun. I would actually be quite frightened if I was in this room. <laughs> Alright, let's go down. 
All right, calm down. You're not even in danger. You're all right. <clears throat> fake controls. What a surprise. Yeah, everything's fake in this place. It's for babies. You're right, my little friend. You're right. <clears throat> it seems you have a dick on your head. <laughs> what happened here? From an enemy vessel, or an alien creature? Or did you attack yourselves in a fit of space madness? Yes. Oh, that sucks so much. <laughs> going to love this dinner pill. Fried chicken, kind of. Well, that's not too bad. I suppose I, I suppose I could deal with some fried chicken, but I'm definitely not up for some grilled pit paste. No. I'm definitely not up for grilled cheese paste. <laughs> no way. Okay, um, let's catch that runaway train. Let's catch that runaway train. Aye, aye, Captain Sweetie. To System 7. This is sort of just teaching you what his life is every single day, this part of the game. This, this is definitely going to be the type of game where I don't get a, a much of a chance to talk. So I'm going to have to say sorry about that right now. You're just going to have to enjoy what they say. <laughs> Well, I'm the heroic genius, but I'm not quite sure what you want me to do. Wake up, Bridgeman. Oh. Oh, <laughs> just gotta click the man in. Well, that's simple. God, I bet that don't feel good on your tongue. I bet that canes. <laughs> Flipping hell. I don't want to celebrate. Absolutely not. It doesn't look too safe where we're going right now. Thanks for keeping it safe. You're welcome. Time for more adventures in Sleepyland. Same space, different day. Am I right? <laughs> now this part of the game does go on for a little while. It's time to go, sport. Um, no, nah, I'm not in the mood for them. Sorry, but no. Yikes! No way. Nope. I already told you about this. I think I'd rather eat a bug. Honey holograms. Now I'll tell you this right now. If you skip every single cereal until the end, you actually un unlock yourself a trophy. So just, just, just skip them all if you want to get yourself a free trophy. <laughs> but there is a shit ton of cereals to pick from. I didn't even know there was this many bloody cereals. No thanks, computer. Bumps? No, we're not having them again. Yuck. You know I hate that. <laughs> you, ate, you ate it yesterday, you liar. Oh, well, that looks absolutely delicious. Look at that. It's like we're eating farts. Okay, we're going to eat farts because obviously they're delicious. Affirmative. Food selection <laughs> approved. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're even eating from a baby kid's bowl. Look at this. And there goes Nunu from the Teletubbies. How about we go on a mission where you shoot me in the head and we commit suicide because because <laughs> you're pissing me off? Oh, it's the smiley face. Look how happy she is. Ain't it irritating? How dare you be so happy, son? Okay, I think um yeah we need to help those avalanche victims. I don't think we've done that yet. We need to help those avalanche victims. I knew you'd want to help them, sweetie. Flying course for Planet Galactica. This 
This is the massive avalanche? It's worse than it looks! Really? How? That's not worse. What <laughs> flipping hell? No, no, I'm not helping you. I don't want to help you. Holy shit! Look at that. Are they like jammy dodgers? I don't know if they have jammy dodgers in other countries. They've probably got a completely different name in other countries. But holy shit, jammy dodgers are the best. They are like they are like a heaven biscuit. If you eat that biscuit and you don't jizz, then I think there might be something wrong with you. Discovered a strange feature over here, computer. Just ignore that, Shay. I don't really. It doesn't. I reckon we can go that way. Discovered a strange feature over here, computer. Just ignore that, Shay. <laughs> Screw you, computer. I could see that you've like put a picture blocking something. Don't play dumb with me, computer. Okay, right. I assume we're gonna have to dig these guys out. Don't worry. I'll figure out how to get you out of there soon. We know you will. We believe in you, Shay. <laughs> Oh, one minute. Oh, hang on. Oh, wait. Can I open this present quickly? Come on. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Oh, look. It's another Grab and Gary robot. Can't wait to put it in the trash. I mean, my collection. Well, I don't know, uh, Frodo. I reckon that might be pretty useful. We could probably use that. If that was like a, a remote control car with grabby arms, that's pretty useful, uh, Frodo. Nah. Are we going to have to use a spoon, ain't we? Uh, Gary doesn't like to grab things that can talk back. I can't wait to be in your mouth again. <laughs> That's a bit forward spoon. <laughs> God, I've only known that spoon about, what, 10 minutes and he already wants to be in my mouth. I mean, come on, at least take me on a date first. <laughs> what? That's nasty, that. Space meat in a blanket. What the hell is space meat? Routine. I don't know, uh, I'm not actually sure. Fake train wreck, please? I think we have to do that one. Oh, I've actually forgot. There is one we have to do. Yeah, I think it might be this one. We'll do this one. Fake train wreck, please. I knew you'd choose that one. To system seven. <laughs> oh, dear. Don't worry, this episode, this is, this will only, this will be the only episode of this kind of stuff. Okay, now, nah. what we are going to do is, as we go down the bridge, we're going we're gonna, to first, we're going to make this man in stick out his tongue, and then we're going to go down the bridge, and just as we get towards his tongue, we're going to click on him again so he removes his tongue. <laughs> that's, that's how we're going to get out of our routine. Will you two shut up? I'm trying to talk to my subscribers here. You ready? Oh, yeah? Oh shit. Oh, we're dead. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> what? That's bullshit. Having fun? Yeah. Huh? Who are you? When you tire of child's play, when you're ready for real danger, come see me. But tell no one. Do you understand? Okay. But no one. Hey, wait! What? Was that a kangaroo or was that a wolf? Because it looked like a discussion about it, young man. You need to rest and heal up in bed until further notice. Computer, I'm fine. Obviously. No, you might have a delayed fracture. That can happen. No, it can't. All missions are cancelled. Get happy you look then. <laughs> I, love I love you too, son. Mwah. Can I can I get out of bed? Weird. 
No missions. I can do whatever. <laughs> oh, I gotta say, uh, Frodo. I know this. Uh, I know this ship is like treating you really badly. I mean, she's not even treating you badly. The ship doesn't understand that you're a man. Well. A teenager, so uh, you, you ain't got to be as angry as you're being, you know. I know it's frustrating, but come on. You can at least say you love her. You can at least say I love you back to the uh, fancy computer son. <laughs> cool, you, you must not see much of his dad, eh? Because his dad's only around when he's asleep. Flipping hell. He's only going to grow up with a mum. That's not very good. What's this? Is that... What's that? I suppose it's like an air machine. She says it's a humidifier, but... I think it's some sort of mind control device. There's an air tank attached to the top of it. A humidifier. Oh, okay. Missions cancelled. Missions cancelled until further notice. <laughs> Whoops. I want to. Uh, what did that kangaroo wolf give to me? Does it say what it is? It looks like a weird little screwdriver. Oh, okay. All right, that's good. It looks like a weird little screwdriver. So are we? Are we just gonna leave then? Okay, let's go. Let's get out of this joint. It's locked. What a dirty trick! Hey, what are you doing out of bed, Buster? What <laughs> am I? Your prisoner? Just until I'm sure you're safe. You have no idea how important you are, Shay. <laughs> oh, okay, well I guess we're not supposed to do that. I've got to. Uh, I've got to tell you, uh, even though this guy's name is Shay, I think we're going to call him Frodo because it's just easier to remember. And as he's voiced by the dude who does Frodo, we may as well just call him Frodo. How the flipping hell is this, like, hologram blanket even keeping you warm? Look at all the flipping holes in it. It's like you've got a net over you. <laughs> okay, come on. Come on, get up. There is a trophy to complete this game in one hour. I reckon that's going to be agony. <laughs> well, we're going to probably try it. Not for YouTube, obviously. Okay, what can... Oh, hang on one minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hmm. The air vent is screwed shut with these weird little screws. Oh, oh. <laughs> I know what to do. <laughs> okay, right. Um, Let's get me a uh, tool out. A strange looking... Uh... Hmm. Looks like a love art. What's this? It looks like an inflatable raft. No, it, do it doesn't look like an inflatable raft. It looks like a flipping heart. Look. Oh, no. Now it looks like a, a lung or something. Okay, let's uh, open it. I can't make enough pressure to blow it up myself. Oh. Oh, oh. Can we use that then? We just, like, stick it on the end of this. She says it's a humidifier, but I think it's some sort of mind control device. There's an air tank attached to the top of it. Oh, I like, I like how you shared that extra bit. Can I take that then? It's a tank of compressed air. Could be useful in an emergency. It could be useful right now, actually, Frodo. Okay, yeah. Uh, oi, oi, oi! Stop it. Alright, let's try this. Maybe this air tank has enough pressure to blow up this raft. Whoa. It looks like a blow up doll. <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> Oh yeah? I wonder what you're going to do with that blow-up doll, Shay. You're going to take it to bed with you or have a little bit of fun? I suppose that's a bit more entertainment. I suppose you're probably going through puberty and shit right now, so uh, yeah. <laughs> Anything's better than nothing, isn't it, Shay? I mean, Frodo. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Hang on. Look at... Oh, it's... Wait, one minute. I've got to try and find somewhere to put this. Oh, one minute. Are we going to... Oh, wait, yeah. Alright, we're going to probably put this in the bed. Yeah, we're going to put this in the bed so uh, it looks like us, doesn't it? So we can put this in the bed and I guess we can leave the place. Alright, let's put this doll in the bed. I want to say something when he does it. <laughs> Hopefully, this looks enough like me to fool the warden. No, it doesn't, Frodo! No, it doesn't look like you! Should I tell you what that looks like? Uh, now he's laid it down. That looks like you know you know SpongeBob SquarePants. That looks like fucking Patrick the Starfish. It's Patrick the Starfish with an afro. That is Patrick with an afro. It looks nothing like you, Shay. I suppose the fatness makes sense, seeing as you keep eating like a whole mountain of ice cream. But that does not look like you. That right there. That is Patrick with a wig. 
Patrick with a damn wig. Okay, let's get out of this place before I go mad. Actually, I'm gonna probably have to end here, Wolf Morphers. I wasn't paying attention to the time. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Wolf and Morphers. Hopefully, you're uh, you enjoy this, and this uh, first episode was pretty good for you. And uh, sorry if my throat's bothering you. I seem to have another one of those croaky throats again. But thanks for watching, Wolf and Wolfettes. Like, share, and join a pack today. Oh